Okay, so how do you find the domain or range when they give you a graph? You know, it's either a line or dots on there. So this is what we would do. Um, you take a look at your your graph that they give you. In this case, I give you a, um, a line with some dots on there. And if it says list the domain, you need to remember that your domain is also known as X's or inputs, okay? So domain is just a list of all your X's. So when you look at this graph, take a look at your X axis on here and find out some good spots for the dots. Or if there's no line, just take the X values from the dots. So list the domain. Or, you know, you can put a capital D there and put that nice little fancy bracket. And you would say, hey, that's a zero value on the X axis, so I'll put a zero there. Then you look at your next dot, and you go, hey, that's right over the one on the X axis, so I'll put a one. And it just kind of follows the pattern. Two, three, four, five. Guess what? I've listed all of my X's. Or, excuse me, I've listed the domain, which is just the name for all the X's. Now, if they said, please list the range, please remember that the range is a list of all the Y's, or another name is all the outputs. So, you can do a range. We'll put a capital R right there and then start listing them. The first uh, one I see is zero. So that's right there on the, the zero on the Y axis. And then the, the 20, the 40, the 60, the 80, and the 100. And I'm done.